didn't mean to. Why won't you try and help me fix it? In this video, we're going to be going over some of the miraculous in Miraculous Ladybug and what makes them so strong. The Miracle Box has been home to magical charms for centuries and they have some incredibly powerful abilities. As the series progresses, these powers have been able to be explored at greater lengths. While every Miraculous in the box has its uses, some are stronger than others, and they influence great heroes and villains alike. Marinette, we're magical creatures, remember? We can't be seen or heard on screens or in photographs. The Tiger Miraculous is a decorative Ponja's bracelet. When it's inhabited by the Kwame Roar, it grants its wielder the power of elation. The super ability called Clout is one that really packs a punch. When in use, it allows the wielder to gain a sudden burst of energy, which accumulates as charged power that they could hold within their fist. The power is first seen in the episode Crocoduel, when Ladybug gives the Tiger Miraculous to Julika. In the episode, Julika's parents are akumatized due to a disagreement and she is temporarily permitted to become the hero known as Purple Tigress. She uses her powers to put an end to her parents' fighting and uses clout to send them into the sky so that Ladybug can have some time to figure out her lucky charm. Time to turn the volume down, Dad. Uh, guitar villain. The Ox Miraculous is one that is newly explored as it makes its first wielded appearance in the episode Penal Team. In the episode, Ladybug resorts to recruiting new heroes to help her defeat Chloe, who had just been akumatized. One of those heroes is her classmate Ivan, who's given the Ox Miraculous. The Miraculous is shaped like a nose ring, and when it's inhabited by the Kwame Stomp, it gives its wielder the power of determination. Ivan uses the Miraculous to become the hero Minotaurix, and it makes him invulnerable to enemy attacks. This makes him the strongest hero on the team in a literal sense and makes his Miraculous one to be desired. Hi, I'm Stump. Let's add some muscle to this game. What if I hurt someone using my superpowers? One of the more unique Miraculous in the Miracle Box is the Dragons. The beaded choker allows its wielder to harness the power of perfection. When the choker is inhabited by the Kwame Long, the wielder can use a super ability that allows them to transform into various elements. The elements are water, wind, and lightning, and they each serve their own purposes. In a way, the Dragon Miraculous gives its wielder three powers instead of one. The Dragon Miraculous recurring holder, Kagami Surugi, is first given the Miraculous in the episode Ikari Gozen. As the hero called Ryuku, she helps Ladybug and Cat Noir in many battles in Season 3 and beyond. She's a remarkable ally to have because, unlike her fellow heroes, she has to use all three of her elemental powers before she's required to transform back. No, stay behind with Cat Noir. This is a personal matter between a mother and a daughter. <laughs> Although the Rooster Miraculous has only been used briefly in the series, its superpowered ability isn't one to be ignored. When inhabited by the Kwame Oriko, the Thumb Ring gives its wielder the power of pretension. This grants them an ability called Sublimination, which allows the wielder to give themselves any power. This can be useful for countless situations and is incredibly versatile, which is what makes it so powerful. The sublimation ability is used for the first time in the episode, Penal Team. Ladybug entrusts the Rooster Miraculous to Mark Ansel for a brief period when she needs to assemble a new team of heroes to help defeat an akumatized Chloe. As the hero named Rooster Bold, Mark gives himself the power to score a goal every time he shoots, which leads to the hero team winning the soccer match they were playing against the villain, Penalty. My power is to choose a super ability, and I choose to score a ball anytime I shoot. <laughs> The Butterfly Miraculous has been in the wrong hands since the premiere of Miraculous Ladybug. The current wielder of the Miraculous, Gabriel Agreste, uses it to become the series' main villain, Hawk Moth. Although the Kwame Nuru has no choice but to inhabit the brooch that gives his wielder the power of transmission. Gabriel uses this power to create butterflies that possess other people. These butterflies, called Akumas, are what creates most of the villains seen in the series. This ability is remarkably powerful as it allows Hawk Moth to give anyone he wishes superpowers, as long as they do his bidding. He has also powered up his abilities through the use of his akumatized villains, as seen in the episode Catalyst, or by combining multiple miraculous together as seen in the episode Evolution. This grants him a plethora of ways to manipulate and control everything around him, and is likely why he's yet to be defeated by Ladybug and Cat Noir. Dear Vampina, you've performed your role well for the time being. We will meet again very soon. Everyone has the chance to redo their past mistakes, and the Snake Miraculous grants just that. When the Miraculous Bracelet is inhabited by the Kwame Sass, the wielder is given the power of intuition. 
This allows them to rewind time by five minutes with an ability called Second Chance. The wielder can continuously reverse time for those five minutes, as long as the time does not run out. This means that the wielder can have an indefinite amount of time to retry a situation before they transform back. As seen in the episode Desperata, when Adrian uses the Snake Miraculous to try and change the future over 25,000 times. The Snake Miraculous is used more efficiently by Luca in the same episode. With the Miraculous, he becomes the hero known as Viperion. He utilizes Second Chance to save his fellow heroes and get them out of difficult situations, as seen in the episode Wishmaker. When he reverses time to prevent Ladybug and Cat Noir from being hit by an akumatized villain. Wait, this time I know what to do. <laughs> time travel is a very complicated power, and the Rabbit Miraculous must be entrusted to the right person. In the episode Evolution, it's given to Marinette's classmate, Alex. Alex had appeared in the series with the Rabbit Miraculous before this, which was when her future self appeared to help Ladybug and Cat Noir in the episode Time Tagger. If this sounds complicated, that's because the Rabbit Miraculous grants its wielder the power of evolution. When its pocket watch is inhabited by Fluff, the wielder can utilize an ability called Burrow, which allows them to travel anywhere in time. This means Alex can travel to the past, present, and future, but she has to be wary of the impacts she leaves behind. One mistake could completely change the natural timeline. There's a reason that the Ladybug Miraculous is entrusted to the series' main hero, and that's because the power of creation gives its wielder whatever they need to save the day. When the earrings are inhabited by the Kwame Tiki, her wielder Marinette Dupain Chang transforms into the hero Ladybug. She's been a natural since her first time using her powers, and her strategic skills make using her super ability Lucky Charm seem easy. Marinette is first given the Ladybug Miraculous in the episode Ladybug and Cat Noir. This episode is the origin story of the series' main protagonist, and while Marinette hesitates at first, she quickly finds her calling as a great leader and hero. Her experience grows with each season, and while it's not always easy, she remains the perfect person to utilize the gifts that her lucky charm gives her. Although some of the charm's objects seem obscure, they're always instrumental in defeating Hawk Moth, and they help restore Paris back to normal at the end of every battle. <laughs> the Pontus Arts oh. Bridge! That's where they're headed! I overheard it in the car! Hurry! There's no time to lose! Although the Peacock Miraculous spends the beginning of the series in a broken state, it still remains one of the most powerful Miraculous. A brooch like the Butterfly Miraculous, the Peacock Miraculous allows its wielder to utilize the power of emotion when it's inhabited by the Kwame Dusu. The first wielder shown in the series is Natalie, who uses the Miraculous to become the villain Mayura. She uses her super ability called Amakization to create Senta Monsters. These living creatures are manifested through someone's emotions and must do the bidding of whoever holds their amok. She also has the ability to destroy her senta monsters by revoking her amok. The power to create sentient life isn't one to be taken lightly, especially when used for villainous purposes. After the Peacock Miraculous is repaired, it is obtained by Felix in the episode Strike Back. He uses the Miraculous to become his alter ego, Argos. And while his true intentions with the Miraculous have yet to be revealed, he appears to have a gentler hand when it comes to creating Senta monsters and how he treats them. And how do you intend to stop me? By now, the whole world's been bathed in the light of the Red Moon. You don't know what object controls my Senta monster or where it is! As the direct opposite of the Ladybug Miraculous, the Cat Miraculous is just as important in the series. When its ring is inhabited by the Kwame Plague, the wielder is granted the power of destruction. This is something that Adrian Agrest utilizes constantly as the superhero Cat Noir, who is dedicated to helping Ladybug defeat Hawk Moth. It's a good thing that the Cat Miraculous is in the hands of a hero because its super ability called Cataclysm allows the wielder to destroy anything they touch. The Cat Miraculous is by far one of the most powerful due to the sheer amount of damage it can cause. It's constantly hinted that Plague used it to destroy the dinosaurs, while Adrian uses it himself to topple buildings, break large objects, and even take down his enemies on occasion. The episode Cat Blanc documents the sheer force of this power. When Adrian is akumatized by Hawk Moth, his abilities at Cat Noir are heightened enough that he manages to destroy the entire world. You don't love me anymore, so I might as well destroy you, me, our memories, everything! No! Miraculous Ladybug is indeed a series full of extraordinary characters with impressive powers, but these 10 Miraculous are some of the best. 
Their abilities allow their wielders to change the world around them in various ways. For better or for worse, they're often the driving force that influences the villain's actions and what helps the heroes to save the day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Gabriel would never allow me to do this, but I'm going to create a very powerful senti monster, the most powerful one that's ever existed.